out another garden gadget to showcase here on Oklahoma Gardening. And joining me is Dr. Moss, who's been working with this garden gadget for the last year on and off. So tell me, what's your garden gadget? We have for you today a solar powered weeding robot. Sounds perfect. <laughs> That's right. So everybody loves to go out in their garden and just pull weeds, right? Mm -hmm. You know, actually that can be kind of fun. I, it's therapeutic It's for therapeutic. Me. <laughs> but we have a little solar powered robot that can do it for you. Okay, so this is like a kind of a take on the solar or the uh, vacuum and yes. we've got the mower. So now we have a weed eater. Yeah, too. you got the vacuum in your living room. You got the mower for a lawn. Now you got the little robot for your landscape or garden bed. Okay, yeah. so can it work anywhere? It can work anywhere, theoretically speaking, okay. right? But you know, if you take a look at, I like to call it the little guy. <laughs> and it's, and it's got little wheels on it that'll spin around your bed. It's got basically a weed eater line at the bottom of it that'll spin around and chop the weeds down for you. So if it's a nicely, freshly prepared planting bed, pretty smooth, and you got some plants that you've, so maybe some transplants you put in, works great. Okay. It'll, it'll travel around and anything that tries to pop up, it'll zap it, so to speak, with this little weed eater line. It'll also run, run over the weeds with its wheels and kind of do that. Operates about two hours a day. Okay. And so you do have to get a solar charge, but also maybe a USB charge to keep it going, check on it. You know, if you're going to water or something like that, you don't want to like put the sprinkler right on top of it. Gotcha. But if you have a drip system, it'd be fine. Although you got to watch out for the drip system because the, it has to run. It has to run over that. So make sure it's pretty smooth. Okay. If you have a lot of chunky mulch, things like that, it kind of spins out a little bit and kind of has a little trouble. Okay. And it'll, what it'll do is it'll still spin and try to get the weeds, but maybe hit a piece of mulch or two and kind of spread those out as well. Also, if you have a bed that you haven't touched in a while, maybe it's got some tall weeds in it. I'm guilty, I do. <laughs> really, what the niche is here, if the weeds are one inch or less, it'll knock them out. But if those weeds are already tall, then it's going to have trouble getting in, in fact, it's built that way. I was just, it's sort of yeah. a protective mechanism, kind of protective. right? On some of your more mature plants. That's right, because you don't want it to go in and knock down your desired plants that might be tall and growing, right. right? You can also protect them with a little kind of like a fence or a guard. Okay. Or if you um, have a bed where it's kind of out in the wide open, you can build a little fence for it so it knows where to stay so it won't get too far away from you. All right. Yeah. So needs to be a flat surface though, not yeah. a slope or anything like that. It might have some yeah. difficulty with traction. And... Um, anything bumpy or if okay. it's gra there's gravel or if there's a lot of uh, chunky mulch, Okay. Not going to do the best for you. So a nice smooth bed is, is the best. Also be aware, like maybe your, maybe your landscape bed is on the north side of your house and it, a lot of shade there. Oh. Well, this is a solar powered little robot. So you got to have a little sun for it to keep on running for you. What about, I mean, so clearly it doesn't know a weed from a plant, but it's no. based off a of height. Are there any weeds that it maybe has difficult that are like low growing weeds? Yeah, for sure. Like if, if you have really prostrate growing weeds, like a a prostrate spurge or mm -hmm. something, which we have a lot in Oklahoma, it's it's going to kind of go over the top of those. And that, that plant is built, so to speak, where it can just be almost like a ground cover. So it's not going to go down lower and get that out for you. You'll still have to hand pull those. Okay. So not going to solve all of our problems, no. but might be a great addition to kind of keep weeds in check when you yeah. start a new garden. Thank you so much for sharing this garden gadget with us. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.